guys, so I wanted to give you a quick tour of our Airbnb that we got here at Baga Bataan. So, so if you see, this is the entryway. You can see that it opens up quite nicely into this living room slash kitchen format. And there are two bedrooms set up behind. This Airbnb actually cost us a little over 2,500 pesos just for one night since we're staying the next night at Las Casas Filipino de Acosara where we were attending a wedding. So before that, this is a nice little Airbnb. Um, a little basic but really modern. I think the place can actually take up to six people. It's quite roomy. So here we have a pretty big TV. I think this might be a 48-inch smart TV. It's a nice signage here when you enter. Welcome to Balay Belen. There's this L-shaped couch here when you enter. Um, also a nice touch. They have bedroom slippers available for free. Um, so for the kitchen, it's quite basic. No microwave, no toaster. But well, have a small hot pot cooker. Just like I've mentioned in my previous videos, at least have one of those ready. Have a hot pot cooker or a toaster at the very least when you're hosting. They have a standard refrigerator. And they have this small table, four people, maybe up to six if you really forced it. The wine here that does not come with the Airbnb, that's something I brought on my own. Okay, what's actually nice about this bathroom is that it's split up. So there are two separate doors between the shower area and the toilet area. Um, again, nothing grand, but I do like the tiles that they use for this accent wall that they put in. So that's a nice touch, I like that. And as mentioned, the toilet area is in a separate entryway, so if you have a big group, and it's convenient to have someone going through the bathroom or taking a shower at the same time. This is the second bedroom at the back. This place only has single beds. The bed has Eurotex mattresses, slightly hard mattresses. That's how I prefer my mattresses. I had a good night's sleep. Uh, so let's leave this room because we didn't pay for it. But it's good that they kept it open just in case uh, we wanted to take a peek. And going to the bedroom, again as mentioned, two single beds. You have a desk here if you needed to work from home and stay here in Bataan. This might be a good setup. They have this open shelf type of arrangement here. So this is actually a pull-out bed, so that works as another sleeping area. And that's about the tour I have for you for our little Airbnb. You could check out the links below if you like this video. I have some I dropped off Janessa at Las Casas de Acusar. She's getting ready for the wedding. Um, our check-in there is not until 3 p.m. So I have some me time. I found myself in this beach. Um, I'm just really happy to be exploring again. This is the first time that I'm seeing like the sea um, since the pandemic. Probably not the best beach, not the most idyllic, but it's beautiful. Um, I moved. <laughs> Hi guys, so I finally took a quick dip. It's been more than 28 months since my last Trip to the beach. I haven't seen the beach. I haven't been in the sea for so long. So um, I felt this was really therapeutic. Um, I'm still gonna be attending the wedding later, so I'm trying not to enjoy here too much or lose track of time. This place is supposed to be charging 100 pesos uh, for 12 hours, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. But 
Um, I didn't really find anyone charging, so maybe on the way out, uh, I'll keep you posted on that. So this has been a good uh, way to spend my morning. Okay. 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 Okay.